My name is Peter Joseph Jancuna Sr. I am 57 years old. All right. I was not in the military, but I was drafted. The Jancuna's family all started with, and they all have been military men. My grandfather, Joseph Sr., was born in Lithuania in 1899, and when World War I broke out, he was an apprentice machinist. He was drafted into the Tsar's army in 1915 and served in the Tsar's army until 1918. He was in the two battles of Tannenberg, as the Germans call it, or brest as the Russians call it. He was a machine gunner. My grandfather then left Lithuania when the communists took over Russia and gave Lithuania to the Germans. My grandfather figured how can he live under the same people who he was killing. He was Joseph Jankona Sr. He then took his younger sister, who was 10 years old at the time, and escaped to Finland, where they caught a boat to England, and landed here in New York City in 1918. And he then enlisted in the U.S. Army, thereby becoming a U.S. citizen as good as you join the Army. He served one year in the U.S. Army. 1918. Right. It's one of the major battles the Americans were in. Something to do with a forest. It wasn't the Oregon Forest, but it was something else. <clears throat> My grandfather realized that to get anywhere in this country, you have to be an American citizen. So we had relatives here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. He gave his younger sister to them to take care of. <clears throat> After release, being released from the army, now American citizen, he was a U.S. citizen, and he went to work as a machinist mate in Singer's Sewing Machine Company, which at that time had a large number of Lithuanians working for them. He worked in Singer Sewing Machines for 30-something years. My father was born in 1920, Joseph Jr., and joined the Army in 1940, before World War II even started. My father was not a machinist, but more of a truck driver, knew really nothing about the workings of a machine gun, but the Army, in his infinite wisdom, figured Joseph Jankunas and Joseph Jankunas Jr., they figured they made a mistake somewhere. They made him a machine gunner. My father served in the Army until 1946 and was released in 1946. He served in the Pacific Theater. And what I remember, he was in, he was in the Battle of Saipan, and I think he was in Guam, 1946. He then was released in 1946 and married my mother in 1949 
and 1950 came around and Korea conflict started. My father was drafted but never served. He was conscripted and was ready to serve in the Korean conflict but actually never had to do it because he was married and had a dependent child, my sister. He then volunteered to serve when they drafted his younger brother, Charlie, or Charles. Charles went in in 1950-51 and was in the Korean conflict and was in two battles of Port Chop Hill where he won a decoration. I'm not sure what decoration it was. But the Jan Kunis men, I think there was six boys. There was my father, Joseph, Alfred, Charles, Johnny, Walter, and there was another, Alphonse. I think out of the six, I think five of them had military service. I think the only two who had, who had real down to out action overseas was my father, as I said, who served in the Pacific Theater from 1942 to 45, and my uncle Charlie, or Charles, who was in Korea from 1951 and 52. Did they all survive? Yes. Well, now they're deceased, but they... They all survived war. They all just survived the military. Okay. Now, if you have any <coughs> questions, then we're done. Thank you. In 1953, after the Korean conflict was, hmm. was finished, I guess the military men figured that after, again, the wars, there was a baby boom. So I was born in July of 53. And we lived in Newark, New Jersey. And my father was a truck driver and worked for Anheuser-Busch in uh, Newark, New Jersey, out by Newark Airport. He was a truck driver for 20-something years. <coughs> um, as I said, I, time went on. I was raised and born and raised in Newark. In 1971, as I said, the draft was going on and we were involved with Vietnam. I was, I had just turned 18 years old. Thought for sure as my birthday was picked and I was chose, my birthday was chosen as the very first date for that year to be chosen. I thought for sure that I was going to get drafted. I didn't really not want to serve in the Vietnam conflict, but was not going to you know, go to Canada. I was went up to Newark to enlist into the Navy. I was looking into the Navy. And at that time, the Navy had their choice of whoever they wanted to take. And if you wanted to get into the Navy, you had to serve a four-year stint of active service and two years reserve duty. I thought six years was quite a lot to spend in my life and just never did it. 